you know what? I made a video and guess what happened? The before I did that, let me show you guys this view of the, the bridge I'm going over. This is spectacular. I want to share this with you. This is one second. I, when I get to the specific point, I'm gonna I, I'll put camera out so you can see it. I'm on my, my phone, by the way. Here we go. Here we go. Here come. Here's the money shot. That's one. And this is my favorite one over here. Hope, hope, hopefully you can see it. Yeah. So that's what's all around me today. All right. Enough. For, let, anyway, let me do it one more time just in case. Here we go. So normally I drive to one side of the bridge and I jog to the other. I have not been able to jog since the cold weather hit. But my weight loss is going good. Uh, came down, like I said, from 185. I just, I was stuck at 175 for a period of time. I just got to 170. So I definitely will make my goal at 165 for the weight loss it, by the next six months. So I'm doing it safely, consistently. Spreading out my meals so my metabolism is boosted boosted and I, I soon I'll be able to start jogging and getting my the necessary 10 to 15 miles a week in that I, I normally I'm supposed to have but I just been haven't been able to do it do it to get any jogging because I work and a lot of other stuff been happening but the training is going good still no enough about me and my super exciting life okay let's talk about something i love it's fight time all right now before i let me open the video up by saying nathan diaz you are the man baby <laughs> nate diaz got the last laugh all right nate diaz was saying hey i don't make enough money i'm only getting 2020 he said on twitter dana white said shut up and get back to work all right now guess what no, nobody wanted to fight Conor McGregor because it was too short notice. So when they went to Nate Diaz, he said, you know what, I'll do it. But the money's got to be right. So they had to make his money right. Oh, look, look a shot of this. That's the new casino. Ah. But anyhow, so they said, Nate, Nate Diaz said, the money has got to be right. So guess what? Big Nathan money is right the Nate Diaz also tweeted hey if Connor wants to fight he's going to get on his hands and knees and beg oh listen man you guys follow Nate Diaz on, on Twitter he's <laughs> I, sometimes this stuff is spicy but he's otherwise he's a cool dude let me get the light off my face so no I'm happy for the fight like I said and Conor McGregor's side, little disappointed, it's not a title fight, but nonetheless, it's going to be a spectacular fight. This is why, I said it before and I'll say it again, this is why it's good to have Dana White matching up the fights. Running Zufa as an international business and the business aspect of it, and that's not his thing. He's just not a financial guru genius like that. It's just not his thing. He knows how to sell, 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 sell sizzle and steak. That's his hustle. He knows how to match up fight. They need somebody else in there who's going to manage and run the organization properly like an effective leader. But matching fights, that's Dana White's specialty. This fight, this matchup between Dana White and Nick Diaz is spectacular. I love it. And here is why. Nate Diaz has that boxing ability. That's amazing. I just I've been watching so many of his fights now. I'm I'm, I'm like a, 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 my head's about to explode. I, I saw him fighting. Oh gosh, I, I I can't say the guy's name properly. I'm sorry. I, I I don't I don't speak Japanese or Chinese, whatever it's called. Tomuku Garogumi, some some guy. But that, that, that was a spectacular fight overseas. He outboxed the guy really good. 
submitted him and the arm bar he got and this guy was amazing okay Am absolutely amazing the way he reversed it up and automatically felt the guy up while he had him down and then got the arm bar now the sweet thing about this is that Nate Diaz his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu like I said is off the hook and that's one area that Connor has a weakness in that was revealed when uh, Chad Benendez took him down so that's 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 a, a why it's gonna be a challenge for him but the next sweet thing is that Nate Diaz is also a southpaw so you got two lefties banging it up and what happens is that when you fight somebody who's a southpaw what you're supposed to do is switch up and go southpaw on them too in Taekwondo they call it an open close position but you're supposed to switch up and go southpaw on them too and the other fighters haven't been doing that but since Nate Diaz is a southpaw it's automatically gonna be just straight up banging like that hook up like that so I like that I really like that everything is cool with this fight it's gonna be spectacular Conor McGregor um like I said before something's going on with him the vibe I'm getting off him off this fight is not a good one but I'll, 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 I'll follow him some more he's he needed to fight at UFC 196 no matter what but I, but Jose Aldo didn't take the fight maybe the money I suspect this is just me that when they talk the money wasn't right and Aldo say you know what I I'm too short notice for me Frankie Edgar said you know what too short notice for me the money wasn't right so they had to find somebody who the money was right with Nate Diaz he, he's hungry for money so they made the money right and they gave him a good fight and he's a good matchup but see I suspect that Jose Aldo and Frankie Edgar these guys know they saw the big sweet chunk of change Conor McGregor got and they're like you know what hmm yeah maybe I should be getting some of that money too so now because Conor McGregor run out this is why you never run off your mouth okay Conor McGregor talk smack about Nate Diaz say hey I tip your wages in in, in, in one year or I wipe my behind with your wages yeah blah 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 you know you should be glad to be fighting me I know guess what that all that big smack talk make other fighters say hey you know what if if this dude is making that much money and I'm gonna fight him hey listen I should be getting some sweet change too fighters now are starting to wake up and realize hey if Connor can negotiate and do his thing we can negotiate and do our thing we can get more money we can make it work so I'm excited about that and that's one of the good things about Conor McGregor being in the sport his business acumen is starting to rub off on other fighters and that's something that we need we need these guys not just to let the UFC push them around take jump change and then years later we, we, we hear about them grabbing a liquor store or being homeless or I mean there is life after martial arts and after UFC let me say that again martial arts as a martial artist it's like it's a way of life and it's continuous but there is life after the UFC and I want these guys to be able to plan for that and have that good to where they can have a quality some kind of quality life set up afterwards Randy Couture is a good example and Anderson Silva he's also a good example but we want to have something set up so they can fall back on and that's 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 really important now as I was saying this is one gonna be one of the better fights and I personally I'm gonna come out of pocket and probably buy this fight, sit, watch it with my old duels, non-alcohol beer, a pizza, preferably Papa John's. I don't like the thin. I don't. I don't like thin crust. I saw a pizza with the breadsticks. Mm, delicious, and I'm gonna enjoy that. No, that's if my wife signed my kitchen pass and I don't have stuff to do. If me and my my, my kids have stuff to do. Uh, they come first so I probably won't watch the fight until afterwards but you get my drift so this is a really good fight I'm very excited for it and if, if, if I'm commenting and I'm all over the map it's because I'm blown away by it dude I'm just excited I'm gonna do another video once I get to the house but I want you guys to know watch this fight it's a good matchup and this fight also actually in my next video I'll, I'll talk about that right that's my two cents I'm driving and I'm on my, my cell phone so I don't want the cops to pull me over 
Peace out.